Till now, we have discussed two topics in this chapter. In the first topic, we saw how to calculate the total number of factors in the given number. Along with this, we also saw how to calculate the total number of odd factors, the total number of even factors and the total number of prime factors. Then, in the topic number 2, we saw how to calculate the highest power of prime number in the given factorial. Also, we saw how to calculate the highest power of composite number in the given factorial. And now, in this presentation, we are going to discuss our topic number 3, the base system. And in order to understand the base system properly, we must know what is a digit and what is a number. So, let us shift our focus on understanding digit and number, starting with the digit first. Digit is a word originated from the Latin word digitus, which means finger or toe. So, this commonly used word is taken from a Latin word digitus, which means finger or toe. Now, if you ask me to define digit based on our general understanding, I would say digit is a symbol used to represent numerical value in a number system. So, digit is a symbol in a number system which we use to represent numerical value. For example, 1, 2, 3, etc. These all are the symbol or I should say the digit which we use to represent numerical value. And now we will understand how Latin word digitus is related to today's digit. And for this, we have to go back to the ancient times when fingers were used to do the calculations. So, the fingers or I should say digitus were used to do the calculations and therefore, the symbols which we use today in place of fingers are known as digits. So, I hope you now understand what do we mean by digit and let us now understand what is a number. The digits can be combined in multiple ways to represent any number with the positions indicating the place values. So, here we need to understand two things. The first thing is, the combination of digits is known as number. We combine multiple digits in multiple ways to get multiple numbers. And the digits which are combined to form the number has different place values based on the positions they are placed at. Let us take one example to understand these two concepts. Let's say we have a number in decimal number system 2, 3, 4. In decimal number system, we have 10 symbols from 0 to 9. I have taken 3 symbols out of 10 and formed a combination giving me number 234. So, we can see that the combination of digits 2, 3 and 4 is giving me a number. And we very well know that 4 is at 1's place, 3 is at 10's place, 2 is at 100's place. So, this particular position is having the place value equal to 1. This position is having the place value equal to 10 and this position is having the place value equal to 100. Similarly, when we have more digits in a number, the place values will increase moving in this direction accordingly. So, I hope you now understand what is a number. We can have a number by combining digits or symbols. Also, we can have multiple numbers by combining digits in multiple ways. So, in this way, we are done with digit and number. Now, we will move on to number system or I should say the base system. In a number system, we have a defined base and this base is the total number of different symbols or digits in a number system. We will see the example of base of number systems after understanding the definition of number system. Number system is the way of representing numbers using the digits. We know we can have numbers from the combination of digits and the way following which we combine the digits is known as number system. 
and in this course we have four important number systems to study decimal binary septal and octal let us start with decimal in this number system we have 10 different symbols or digits and they are 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and 9 we have total 10 different digits in decimal number system and therefore the base of decimal number system or the radix of decimal number system is equal to 10 the base or radix r is equal to 10 in decimal number system now we will talk about binary number system binary means 2 and therefore we have two symbols only in binary number system 0 and 1 and therefore the base or radix in binary number system is equal to 2 in binary number system 0 and 1 are the binary digits and in short we call them bits let us now talk about septal number system septal number system has seven different symbols or digits 0 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 so the base or radix is equal to 7 now let us talk about octal number system in this we have eight different digits and they are 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 and 7 so the base or radix is equal to 8 in octal number system so i hope these four number systems are clear to you now there is a question why do we need number systems number systems are needed because they provide a standard way to represent the numbers and they also allow us to communicate numerical values with one another using them we can perform the calculations we can do the measurements and we can also store the information properly in a structured way and different number systems are used in different applications and they have their own advantages for example binary number system is used in digital electronics and other fields of computer science decimal number system is used in our day-to-day -day lives for calculation that is arithmetic operations in counting also in finance science and education and let us take one example to understand this better let's say you have an online marketplace for organic products you have one warehouse where you store your products and you are using boxes to store your products now let's say you are mentioning the quantity of the product inside the box and you are not using a number system you are simply writing more on the box having more product and you are writing less on the box having little less product than this box following this you are writing let's say two less on this box having less product than these two boxes now soon you will run out of adjectives to write on the box and also this way is inaccurate and impractical instead of this you can use a number system let's say decimal number system you can weigh the product you are putting inside the boxes and you can simply put the exact amount on the boxes you will use numbers for this purpose and let's say this box has 10 kg of product after weighing this box has 2 kg of product after weighing and this box has 5 kgs of product after weighing now instead of using more to less less you are using a number system and you are representing the amount in a numerical fashion this is more accurate and easy to process so i hope you now completely understand the need of number systems and the digits used to represent certain quantity in one number system can be more or less in another number system for example 
5 in decimal when converted to binary is equal to 1, 0, 1. In binary, we can only have two digits, 0 and 1. So we are having the combination of zeros and 1. And here we need three bits or three binary digits to represent 5. So we need more digits in binary when compared to decimal. Similarly, we can have other number systems using more digits or less digits depending upon their base values. And in order to represent this number is in binary, we put it inside the parenthesis and then we write 2 in the subscript representing the base of binary number system. So this is all for this presentation. I hope all the concepts are now clear to you. In the next presentation, we will perform the addition and subtraction in different number systems. So I will end this lecture here. See you in the next one.